Mr. Correa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Director Ray. I also want to thank you and your colleagues for your work in protecting Americans on a daily basis. I sit on Homeland Security, and I have a special appreciation for your work. Uh, if I can turn our attention a little bit to cybersecurity, uh, you mentioned that part of your job was to protect us from foreign nations like China and Russia. A very difficult job, an important job, and a job that our national security depends on you doing it right the first time around. Uh, and Mr. Ray, if I can talk a little bit about the solar winds attack, that attack began as early as March 2020 and allowed Russian intelligence to access critical data and the breach went on for a number of months. And this, Mr. Ray, was a major breach. It accessed many federal agencies as well as the private sector and it went undetected for a number of months. Um, Mr. Ray, why did it take so long for our federal investigators to detect this breach? Well, the solar winds uh, breach or, or uh, intrusion uh, that you're referring to, uh, I think it's fair to say, is one of the most sophisticated cyber campaigns ever. Uh, and it is a sobering reminder of the lengths our adversaries are willing to go to. And I say that because the SVR, and we've now publicly attributed it to the Russian SVR, uh, was basically clandestinely inserting a few lines of malicious code in widely used software, uh, and widely used software update that, with tens, that has tens of thousands of lines of legitimate code, all to, even though ultimately uh, only targeted about 100 or so for future exploitation. Uh, and I think that solar winds intrusion highlights the importance of the private sector engagement piece. Well, the FBI, on our end, uh, can pursue appropriate investigations, but what we can't do is just sit on networks and, and wait Ryan, and look just in case. So we are aggressively sir, investigating. Sir, if I can ask yeah. you, sir, if I can ask a follow-up question. I, I refuse to accept the fact that the Russians are better than us at cyber. So my question is, uh, have you seen any evidence of internal obstruction or any internal assistance that would help to hide or impede the investigation into this cyber breach? <laughs> any obstruction? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I'm following the question. You mean by the, the company? Any evidence within the federal government oh, I see. Uh, of people assisting or obstructing, hiding this kind of attack on our nation? I'm not aware of, that I've seen anybody hiding the attack. I, like I said, it was a very sophisticated attack, uh, and I think we've aggressively made progress on it, and sanctions have been imposed now. Uh, and I think something like 38 different countries have joined us in different forms of messaging in support of our uh, attribution of this to the Russian SVR. And I would say, uh, Director Ray, that uh, one a very tough situation given that uh, such a major breach occurred in our federal government. Uh, recently, uh, uh, Biden administration signed an executive order, President Biden signed an executive order uh, to improve the nation's cybersecurity and to increase federal capabilities to respond and get federal agencies to better coordinate their efforts uh, in this area. Can you speak as to how the FBI is working to implement this executive order? Uh, so I think what it, the executive order really highlights is the whole of government approach and frankly the whole of society approach that we need to take to the cyber threat. Um, the FBI, this, some, I've heard some people refer to cyber security and the cyber threat as kind of the ultimate team sport. Um, and in this case, the team includes not just the federal government and various federal agencies, each playing its own role, but very importantly, the private sector, where something like 85 to 90 percent, uh, as you may know from your other committee assignment, of our critical infrastructure is in the hands of the private sector. And then when you add on top of that Americans' personal identifying information, PII, it's probably even higher than that that's in the private sector, and certainly our innovation which is targeted by adversaries like China, even higher than that. So in our country, Director, configured the way we are, private sector engagement is the key. Sir, if I may very quickly say that uh, you're right, 80, 90 percent in the private sector, but this breach was of the federal government. And I believe even your FBI files may have been uh, 
compromised. So my, I'm hoping in my last few seconds here to say that I look forward to continuing to work with you both in this committee and Homeland Security to make sure that this does not occur again. Again, I refuse to accept the fact that either Russia or China has better cyber capabilities than the United States. Gentlemen, yield. gentlemen yields back, Mr. Stubbe. Mr. Chairman, may I, just, may I very quickly respond to that last Yes, point? the gentleman may respond. So first, I totally agree that the Russians and the Chinese are not better than we are, and you and I are aligned on that. Second, FBI systems were not compromised in the way that some of the other federal agencies were. And third, when I refer to the private sector in the context of solar winds, uh, it's important to know that the software update that was the vehicle through which the federal government was uh, compromised was a private sector organization. And that's what I meant by referring to the private sector in that context. Thank you, Mr. The, Chairman. The gentleman's time is, the gentleman yields back.